This fourth installment in the history of manga is about Gekaga. Simply put, Gekaga are cartoons aimed at adults, rather than those aimed at children, as had been the case up to that time. By that definition, most manga today are Gekaga. In the 1950s, when Gekaga was first proposed, cartoonists such as Osamu Tezuka were almost exclusively publishing serials and boys' magazines, and there were no magazines that were intended for adult readers. The leading authority on this Gekaga was none other than Takao Saito. Takao Saito was born in 1936, not much older than Fujiko Fujio's too. As a child, he too was struck by New Treasure Island written by Osamu Tezuka, and set his sights on a career in manga. In contrast to Fujiko Fujio, who, like Tezuka, went down the path of boys' manga, Saito wanted to create a movie like manga based on Tezuka's New Treasure Island. Saito insisted on drawing realistic figures, rather than the soft touch of Tezuka's drawings. This was a different touch from the manga drawn by Tezuka, Fujiko, and others. In 1957, Yoshihiro Yoshimi founded Gekaga Kobo, a group of eight cartoonists, including Saito. They sent letters to publishers and newspapers, declaring that from now on there would be a great need in society for comic books, or Gekaga, aimed not only at children but also at adults. This declaration caused a great stir in the publishing world and brought recognition to the genre of Gekaga. Technical advances in Gekaga include the use of camera work to split frames. This includes depiction from a third-person perspective that incorporates a bird's-eye view and close-ups of the characters to depict their inner psychology. The use of onomatopoeia, line effects, and concentrated lines, as well as the compression of the passage of time by drawing the same scene continuously in panels, are also considered to be developments of the Gekaga Kobo. Saito began drawing manga for adults based on his realistic portrayal of people and meticulously crafted drawings. This was apparently taken as a criticism of the kind of manga that Tezuka was writing, which were only for children. However, the manga with a cinematic storyline that he pursued was also the form of manga that Tezuka was aiming for. It can be said that they were on the same path, although their styles were different. In 1968 he began serializing his masterpiece, Golgo 13. The manga continues to be serialized even though Saito is no longer with us, and currently has 206 volumes in print. Golgo 13 holds the Guinness record for the most number of publications in the world. Golgo 13 is a comic strip about the exploits of Duke Togo, a top-notch assassin. Whenever Togo receives a request for an assassination, he always manages to kill his opponent, no matter how difficult the situation may be. Golgo's targets vary from national leaders to presidents of major corporations. The backgrounds of the clients also strongly reflect the international situation and historical background of the time. Some Japanese politicians and bureaucrats even read Golgo 13 to gain knowledge of the latest world affairs. For example, Haro Aso, the current deputy prime minister, is a well-known Golgo 13 reader. In order to do this serialization, Saito introduced a system that is commonplace in today's manga world. That is the division of labor. Even cartoonists before Saito, such as Osamu Tezuka, drew his cartoons almost by himself. Tezuka was able to do this because of his superhuman speed, but it was a very demanding task for a normal person to have a weekly series. Saito has completely divided the workload and made the production of manga more efficient. Story and other aspects were left to others, and Golgo 13 includes the names of the artists in charge of drawing and script writing at the end of the book. For this reason, Saito is said to have taken on the framework of a film director rather than a manga artist. This is why Golgo 13 has been serialized even after Saito's death. Gekiga is now the mainstream of manga. The techniques of expression developed by Saito and others are now commonplace. They contributed to the development of manga and made Gekiga into something that could be read by adults, whereas it was previously considered something for children.